Welcome back to my Roadie Completion Guide for Control. This is episode 16, and we want to upgrade the following abilities. Health 5, like that, and then we're going to go over to our launch abilities. We want to upgrade launch enemies 1. Just below that will be launch enemies 2. And then just below that will be launch strength, okay? Then we're going to scroll to the top of the abilities tree where it says shield 1. I want you guys to upgrade that one next. And then just below that will be shield two. And then to the right of shield two will be shield barrage. Once you've upgraded all those abilities, I want you to fast travel back over to the ritual division. So we have a boss fight coming up with SEJ, but before we get to her, we need to do a little bit of running around and solve some puzzles. So we're going to head into the lab, there's going to be a hallway to your right, I want you guys to take the hallway, you're going to end up being in a puzzle room. There's going to be three bay windows on the right and three bay windows on the left, okay, and I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this puzzle. So we'll start with the right side, I want you to interact with the very first control panel and then move to the left side, and we're gonna interact with control panels two and three. Now, it doesn't matter the order, okay? See how I'm interacting with three first and now two? It doesn't matter, guys. As long as you've interacted with those three control panels, you're good to go. The center will open up for you guys, and then you can enter the next part of the building through the mirror. So we're almost to the SEJ boss fight, but in order to get her to spawn in, we need to interact with three points of interest in the synchronicity lab. The first one's gonna be to your right on the bottom floor. There's gonna be some mannequins over here. The other two are gonna be upstairs. One's gonna be on the right side. The other one's gonna be on the left side. As soon as you interact with all three points of interest, we'll have the boss fight with SEJ. That's not good. So in order to take down SCJ, we're going to implement two strategies. Number one, keep our distance as much as possible. That's going to become a lot trickier once we get to the end of the fight because she's going to be a lot more aggressive. But by then, we're going to have plenty of cover and set up in our spot, which is over here. This is rule number two. Always stay in this corner, okay? This gives you guys a ton of protection. We're just going to peek out of cover, use our launch ability, try to do some damage, and then go back into cover, guys. It's really just that simple. If at any point you feel like your uh, health is depleted and you need some health, every time you do damage to her, she's going to be dropping health elements. But so just dive off of the second floor where the health elements are, get the health elements extremely quick, and then float back up to the second floor or run around depending on where she is on the map, right? And that's how you guys are going to be able to get some health elements but just stay in this corner see the column that's directly in front of us that never goes away notice that the steps have started to whittle away a little bit based on the damage but the column that's in front of us never goes away and that's going to be your main point of cover now as soon as you defeat SCJ you're going to be picking up the trophy called altered manifestations may occur and then we're going to backtrack through the mirror that we came through earlier that's going to allow you to complete the side mission called self-reflection that'll be your 10th side mission out of 15 and that's also going to be enough to pop your next trophy called interdepartmental cooperation and that's going to be enough to wrap up this episode you guys can fast travel over to parapsychology and i'll meet back up with you guys in episode 17 be good
was doing with this thing. Well, it's cleansed now. The hiss is gone. It's dealt with. 